hey what's up internet just thought I'd make a quick video here about how to use a cool feature on a Mac um, it's called spaces and I'm gonna take you to my system preferences here and I'll go back to the original system preferences you can see right here next to the dock maybe I can zoom in on this for you you've got expose and spaces you can click on that and then it brings you here you'll want to click on spaces I'm already there and you'll click here where it says enable spaces and then what you've got is you can add as many well I think as many rows and columns as you want okay it'll stop at um, it looks like eight or four rows probably just as many columns So you could have quite a few. Okay, so I've got a uh, two by two here, and you can assign what applications you want to go to which space. You'll see in here, I've got Firefox, uh, my mail, my Safari, all my kind of internet stuff, I have assigned a space one. Um, my Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, and Excel, I've put in space two along with my preview. Cause I read a lot of PDFs and stuff and so put that in space too. Um, iMovies in space two as well. I might change that to uh, space three. It's really easy. You can actually just click there and you can say it'll go to every space or whatever. You can click like that. You can even um, just simply drag it to which space you want. I wanted it in space three of course. And then you can also, to add an application, you click on that um, plus sign. I've got Google Chrome. haven't assigned it a space yet, so let's put it in there. And let's assign it to space one. Google Chrome for Mac is actually pretty cool. I might do a little review on that a bit later. So then you can also go down here to see kind of some of the hotkeys, the shortcuts to get through to the different... Um, spaces windows and I just use my command button and my arrow keys you can also use the number keys here and uh, it's pretty easy so let's get out of here and show you how it works I've already enabled it let's bring up Google Chrome here it's a pretty cool thing go to my YouTube channel so it automatically brings me to space one. Now if I do FN and um, F9 is it? No, F8. You can see that I've got my different spaces open and that you can actually move your applications to the different spaces if you wanted to. But I'm gonna leave that back in space one for now. Uh, let's go open a Microsoft Word window here and it'll automatically jump over to space two. You've seen that. Um, let's open up my iTunes. iTunes, I've got it assigned to Space One as well. But again, if I wanted to move it and get it out of the way, I can put it down into Space Three. And then I'll go Command and my arrow to the right. I can go to uh, my Microsoft Word. I can go down to my blank desktop. I can go over to my iTunes or I can go back up to my YouTube. So again, that's really easy. Um, pretty cool things. You can also download an application to make the transitions uh, kind of cool. I've seen some on YouTube where they've actually uh, made it so that it spins. It's kind of a cool thing. But uh, yeah, so that's uh, Spaces. If you have any questions, comments, feel free to hit me up here on YouTube. I'll show you my channel here again real quick. Um, be sure to subscribe, subscribe, rate, comment, and uh, any links that you might need, I'll put in the sidebar, especially for future videos and things like that. All right, thanks.